ECPW fan, Super Nitro, gets his match against Orlock. I think I'm going to take this man down again. It's not easy. Just a simple one, two, three. Orlock, either put up or you shut it up. Let's go! Hey, wrestling fans, East Coast professional wrestling, Joey G and Gino Caruso, Adrenaline TV. Joe, we're getting kicked off early with this matchup with Orlock against, I know, one of your favorites, Super Nitro. Super Nitro, his daughter's always at ringside watching all of his matches. And if you think that Orlock is weird, wait till you see the newcomer Gino Caruso. Shango LaCroix is going to be with us tonight. I guess we'll touch on that later on, but... This is pretty weird right here with Orlock. Yeah, what's up with that elbow with Orlock? Maybe he's got tendonitis. <laughs> His opponent, Super Nitro! Well, we just heard from Super Nitro, and now we're going to see him, wrestling fans. One of the favorites here, Joey. Big favorite, Super Nitro. Hard-working young man. Energetic. Charismatic. And a big fan favorite here in ECBW. There's Strange Warlock. Now, Joey, don't forget, as you mentioned, we got this newcomer, Chango LaCroix, coming up. He's going to be going against Junior Flo. You know, I don't know if you saw Chango LaCroix in the locker room. I have not. He is a weird individual. Has some kind of a voodoo doll. I mean, into satanic rituals. Uh, he, he was talking in tongues. Uh-oh. There we go. This has got jump started. Referee Pepino pe signal for the bell. And Orlock uh, taking advantage right off the get-go. Super Nitro didn't even get a chance to get his gear off. The Orlock's been a around for quite a few times, Joey. And, you know, he's, he's done a lot. Uh, former tag team champion with Crowbar Devin Storm. Uh, former light heavyweight champion. But nice arm drag there by Super Nitro. We well, you know when he was wrestling as a tag team uh, partner with Crowbar, he was a little bit more focused. I mean, I think Crowbar took him under his wing and helped him to... So you're thinking he needs some guidance. Not, He's pretty much an idiot is what you're saying. I, 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 not pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, some wrestlers do... Uh, Need some uh, guidance, and right now this is the outside, and oh. Super Nitro's fired up. Nitro doesn't need any guidance right now. He knows what he wants to do. He's got a plan and act. And you know, he, you mentioned earlier that his daughter's always at ringside, and that's one of his um, his guiding light is that is he wants to perform and, and and make his daughter proud. He is a very proud father, and he fights uh, hard not only for the fans but obviously for his daughter that's in attendance. Absolutely. Joe, I know you've been to a lot of uh, live events in 2019. The year's just getting started, but there have been some great live action as well as the, as the TV program. It's, it's you know, great on TV, but in, in person, Joe, uncomparable. Oh, you, you, you know, wrestling fans, if you think it's great on television, you need to see it in person. Nice move there and by we'll, Orlock. And you'll be able to see where ECBW is going to be in your area. Stay tuned for the end of this program. Headlock. Nice bulldog, but I tell you what, Orlock looks pretty focused well, this week, Joe. Yes, he does. He seemed to have a game plan, even if it was, you know, catch him off guard and, and attack him, and that was his game plan. Contrast uh, in wrestling styles here, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. Definitely a contrast. And I know, Joey, uh, as we're watching this matchup, we can't help to think about next week. So we don't want to take anything away from this week's action, as great as it is, but next week, the tag match, we been waiting for Kenny Bengal teams up with Sonny, Sonny Kiss, and they go against Dan the Man and Bad News Dillon. That is going to be some match. Nice knee oh. to the midsection there by Orlock. You don't want to wish your life away, but I'm looking forward to next week, Gino. Uh, Orlock is, uh, he's got some good moves there, man. Uh, he probably looks the You're best right. we've seen him in some You're time. You're right, he is focused. I think he's got a plan tonight. And, and one of them is choking. <laughs> so when Orlock was uh, winning matches and, and, and championships, he was a lot more vicious. And I think uh, maybe he, 2019, he figures he needs to get a little more aggressive well, in his matchups. You know, you, you see what Andrew Johns, the new general manager here in the CBW, is doing. Wrestlers know they're all on their toes. They want to perform at their at their best level. They want to stay here in ECPW because wrestlers are banging at the door to, to, to come into ECPW. Nice sling blade maneuver by Orlock. 
I know, Joey, uh, sometime back we were up at the training center and we got to watch some of the old tapes of ECPW Adrenaline TV from, you know, 15 years ago. Um, and it's hard to believe that this uh, is, is continued to grow and expand into what it is now. How, um, many, how many years have we been doing it now, do you know? Well, Joey G, ECPW has been in existence now for 28 years. 28 years. And it's had a television program for over 20 years, Adrenaline TV. Great move there by Super Nitro. Great roll up for the pin. Wow, that was a quick one. Out of nowhere, and he gets the win. Super Nitro. Nice win by Nitro. And his daughter is happy. The fans are happy. And most of all, Super Nitro is happy. There, there he goes. Talk to the fans. There he is with his daughter. Isn't that beautiful, Gino? That's Look a great at that. right there. That's what it's all about. Family. Familia. There's Lumpy Suspenders and Ducky Medwick. My name is Anthony Marcos, the albino gorilla. And tonight I'm going up against LM, LMJ, LM, LMK, LM, LMT. I don't know. I'm going up against this dude. I've heard he's pretty good, but you know what? That don't matter to me. I'm here to take care of business like I always do. And I promise you, I'm going to drop this LM loser on his head. There he is, the albino gorilla, Anthony Marcos. Gino, this man has a future in wow. professional wrestling. No doubt about it. Oh, he's got a banana in his hand. And the fans just gave him a banana. He is 2018 most improved wrestler. And uh, I know we, we spoke many occasions. You like Anthony Marcos. I do. believe he has a bright future. But you do think he needs some, some guidance. We, we spoke earlier about Orlock needing some guidance. You think that Anthony Marcos may benefit with a manager? Absolutely. You know, that's why salespeople have sales managers. You know, you need that guidance. And his opponent. He is the man known only as L.M.G. Well, there he is, LMJ. We've seen him before. Great competitor. I know you've been up to the training center, Joe, and you spoke with him uh, many times. You see him up there working hard, and you know his, his, he's been on the East Coast now for like about a month or so, and uh, he's been competing in ECPW. Uh, he was a mainstay in the Midwest, the wrestler of the Chicago area, Detroit area. Uh, and he's trying to make his way here in ECPW. Well, Gino, a lot of wrestlers from all over the country, I shouldn't say all over the country, all over the world, want to come into ECPW because they know the organization to be with. Look at Anthony Marcos. Though. Look how strong he looks. Look at the size. He's a very solid built, solid built competitor. Young man, you know, we forget that he's only uh, 20 years of age and that he has... Uh, such a physical presence at such a young age. Great amateur wrestling background, power lifter, as you can tell. Very um, well built, solid, powerful competitor. And LMJ is going to have to stick and move. And he's not going to be able to match much power with him. And LMJ is not a small man himself. No, he's, he's not. He's a big guy, but I believe that you're, you're correct. And for him to be victorious tonight, he's going to have to stay away from the grip of Anthony Marcos because if he catches you, he's going to suplex you. I don't care where you are. He can suplex anybody at any time. Did you say he's the king of the suplex here in ECPW? I, I, he has so many different uh, suplex. He reminds me of a guy that I've wrestled many times, Taz, who's a uh, you know, si similar body type, shorter, stockier, very strong, uh, good amateur background. He reminds me a lot about him uh, with his, his wrestling ability. Yeah, similar hairstyle, too. It's similar hairstyle. <laughs> Nice uh, reversal of the headlock there. Uh, you know, I, I tell you, people make fun of, you know, uh, wrestlers when they use headlocks or, or holes like that, but it wears the wrestler down. Well, that's a reason. Down. The reason behind everything. Everything you do in that ring, there's a reason behind it. 
A lot of times fans don't understand that, and, and it's our job to communicate to them why the wrestlers do what they're doing. Right now, they you know they lock up and they test each other who's got strength and balance. And you know that's why it's so great to have you in the broadcast booth because you're able to impart your wisdom of 30 years of professional wrestling. Well, nice, nice uh, tight waist takedown on his own part there by LMJ. Uh, we like to, uh, you know, at the training center, pass along that knowledge to the youngsters that come through. And then Anthony Marcus is one of the graduates of the training center in Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey. And, and I'm going to tell you something, wrestling fans. Like you're watching this, Anthony Marcos watched ECBW on Adrenaline TV, and he said, I want to become a professional wrestler. And what did he do? Contacted us. That's right. And if you, anybody out there is interested in getting into world of professional wrestling at the end of the program, there will be the website and phone number of the training center. Also, you'll find out upcoming events that are coming in your area. And, and, and Joey, you know, there are some great events coming up. You don't want to miss them. I know you try to make them as much as you can. Beautiful. Under double arm suplex there by Anthony Marcos. Well, you know, I enjoy talking to the fans, and uh, that's how we get our input. You know, we get our input from the emails, the phone calls, the conversations that we have with the fans. We talk to us about some of the professional wrestlers you would like to see in CBW, and we try to accommodate. Well, Angelo Johns, he does he's, a, he's, he's done done a great job. Let's move to the midsection there, LMJ. Again, I don't know if he wants to trade punches with him. I don't know if this is the correct uh, strategy, but he, oh, may, right he, now may it's feel, he may feel that that's his best bet. Nice reversal by Marcos. Duck that. Now he's oh. not going to knock him over. No. Nice, Whoa. beautiful backdrop. Yes. He caught him up balance there. Nice elbow. I'll tell you what, LMJ's doing okay for himself. His debut here, Joey, in Adrenaline. He's worked on some of the... Uh, the house shows this is his first uh, TV debut, and uh, I'm sure he's got some butterflies coming out to the arena. Well, you know, we, you, the big difference is when you're wrestling on house shows, not when you're wrestling on television. There's a big difference. And you were talking about some of the fans. We got a, uh, we were contacted by one of our great fans in Seaside, New Jersey, Brian Quinn, asking us when we're returning down to South Jersey area, and we are again. Check up the web website at the end of the program uh, where East BW is going in, in your area. Nice knife edge chop there by LMJ. But you know, next week that tag team match, that's, that's going to be off the charts. Well, you know, the bad blood between Kenny Bengal and Dan the Man, and, and you got to put in Bad News Dillinger, you know, I feel that Bengal was taken advantage of. He was duped. That uh, Dan the Man suckered him in and uh, cost him that TV title and, and basically handed it on a silver platter to Bad News Dillinger. A deal was made. And right now, we're going to see next week, um, you know, what's going to happen when Kenny gets his hands on, on Dan the Man and Bad News Dillinger and Sonny Kiss in his corner. And you can't have a better partner than Sonny Kiss and wrestling fans. If you've never seen Sonny Kiss before in action, come back oh and join us God. again next week. Beautiful nice. suplex. Belly to back suplex there again. Any angle, any time, Anthony Marcos can suplex, suplex you right out of your boots. He's not afraid to throw a punch either. He's not afraid to get a little aggressive. No, he's not. Which is uh, not a bad thing as a professional wrestler, Joey. You need to have that little bit of an edge, maybe a little bit of a mean streak in you. It serves you well at times. Well, um, you, you can have that mean streak, but you know, you know, when you see two wrestlers in there going by the rules and, and giving you a nice scientific match, that's something to behold. And I, I believe Anthony Marcos could do that. I think he could be a great scientific wrestler if he was, uh, you know, inclined to do so, but he doesn't want to. He likes taking those shortcuts. He likes hurting people. He likes, and he, he likes not only intimidating his opponent, but intimidating the fans. Yeah, he is the albino gorilla. LMJ fighting back. He's going to try to do a suplex of his own. That's a big guy to get up. Low center of gravity, really hard to move. Trying to work on the belly of uh, Marcos. He still can Oh, and the knee slowed him down. Ooh, what a punch. Powerful right hand there by young Anthony Marcos. Will that be enough? Not quite as uh, referee Pepino counts to two. You know, we, we spoke earlier about the, the um, you know, general manager has done a great job here, Angelo Johns, and set up that tag match next week that we're going to see. He's done a lot of things behind the scenes that maybe 
the fans that really don't know about, about bringing the new talent, about about letting some of the old town go. Hey, not uh, only that, Angela Johns has signed some contracts to get us on television throughout the country and the world. Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very shrewd businessman, and, and he um, wants the best for the fans and the wrestlers, and you need to perform, Joey. If you get that opportunity, you need to shine. Right there, elbow to the back of the head. LMJ is going to try to do a suplex. Now he, he got him. him. Bounce. What a move. Whoa, that hurt Marcos. And when a big man hits that canvas. That takes a lot of wind out of you. It, it can knock the breath out of you. And then no matter how strong you are, you're vulnerable. He's going to try for another one. Nah, not quite. Again, you have to have him off balance. Yeah. It's hard to just grab somebody that powerful and suplex him. Well, Marcos looks like he's setting him up. Well, he just threw him to the outside. Dumps him over the, over the ropes, onto the wooden floor. Is there maybe a count out here? But no, the referee's right out there to make sure that the wrestler's okay. He's going to get him back in there. Oh, but Anthony Marcos is coming out to grab him. He's not going to wait. He's going to take advantage of that, as well he should. And he throws him in the ring because he knows the only way he's going to win this match is by pinning your opponent or getting him to submit, and that's inside the ring. Beautiful form to the chest there. You know, if Anthony Morcos wants to go to higher elevations to get title matches, he needs wins. He needs, yep. Another suplex. Again, he caught him off guard. And, and th I think mean, that's the way you could beat An Anthony Marcos. So you got to catch him off guard. That basically goes for any wrestler. Right, another Joe. one. <clears throat> Second one, he's going to try for a third one. Will the third one be a charm where he can get a pin? Not quite. No. And there's belly to back suplex. Oh. Anthony Marcos is, uh, again, tremendous power, but also technique. The suplex is uh, not just about power, it's also technique. That one, he didn't quite get all of it and landed more on the shoulder, but that could very easily dislocate your shoulder. Well, you know, you hit the shoulder, you hit your head, uh, you've got cobwebs. LMJ is just fighting out of instinct right now. He's going to try to go for a... Oh, uh, caught him! He, a stunner, that may be it. Can he get a win? And what a great debut this would be. Almost three. That was so close, Joey. LMJ a little frustrated. Well, it, it, you know, when you hit your opponent with everything you got and he still kicks out, it kind of, you know... Rattles you a little bit. What do you have to do now? You got to go to the higher elevations. You got to get a little more risky. Ah, uh, yep, and that could work. Uh, and sometimes that can backfire on you. Well, he's taking a little bit too much time. What he, he hit him with the frog splash. He caught him. This may be it. Hooked the leg. Hooked the leg a little, not quick enough. I think if he would have went for that pin a little bit quicker, he may have gotten that. Anthony Marcos. He's definitely uh, hurting, though, Joey. He, you know, he is out. One split second is the difference between a two count and a three count. Referee looking on intently as these two wrestlers are... Oh, what's Marco still Oh, at? low blow there. The referee was shielded, and he had a low blow kick, and Anthony Marcos is picking him up. going to finish him off right here. Look at the power, Joey. Wow. That must be it. How much more punishment can LMJ take? Not much more. You're right. Good win there for Anthony Marcus, but I have to say a good showing by LMJ in his debut here at Adrenaline TV. Yo, what's up? This is X-Pac from Degeneration X, and you're watching ECPW Adrenaline Television. If you ain't down with that, you got two words for you. <laughs> well, is this the guy you were talking about, yes, Jango LaCroix? Jango LaCroix. Look, look at that face, you know. And uh, there's that doll that he has in his hand. Look at, look at. That's a strange character, Joe. Oh. I tried to find out where he's from. I couldn't. I mean, you can't talk to him. You don't talk to this guy. Why would you want to talk I, to him? Well, you know, I tried to, I tried, tried to do my job. You better get hazard pay for that. <laughs> you know, and there, there's that mysterious doll that he takes to the ring with him. That's a strange character. 
Fans don't know what they're making. I don't know what they're making. Well, not what you do why. But he, he's, he's facing the mainstay here and a very tough competitor. So again, the debut for Shango LaCroix, he's got, he's got a tough draw here. Slow, very popular wrestler here in ECPW. And uh, Lumpy Suspenders shakes his hand. Joe Kadeem shakes his hand. Bristol shakes his hand. The fans, really, fans. Fans, fans really like him. Oh, he's a very, very popular wrestler here. Um, well, look at the How do you LaCroix prepare in the for somebody like this? I don't know if there's much videotape on this young man. Well, look at Shango McCoy in the corner there. And again, he's walking to that, that doll. And you wonder how focused he could be. I mean, he's a very strange character. I mean, is he able to get in the ring and focus on his opponent? Um, we'll, we'll have to see what kind of... You know, as good as Junior he's... Fall is, this is a tough match because he's, he's never seen Shango LaCroix well, before. Right, there's not much to study. You know, what do you know? You're going in this, but that's, that's you know, you're a professional. You go out there and you're wrestling who, who the matchmaker's put in front of you. I think Shango LaCroix has wrestled a lot in the Caribbean. And uh, wow. making his debut here in ECPW. Obviously, he did something to impress the commissioner, Angelo Johns, to get a spot here in ECPW. Oh! And right off the bat, he just, he jumped him. Well, Angelo Johns, you know, he told me that he, he studied tapes of wrestlers from all over the world. Well, I know that he gets a lot of uh, submissions of, of wrestlers trying to come in here, and they'll send a, a you know, promo package of uh, their wrestling and their ability, and, and uh, he's contacted constantly, but it's up to him to decide who he believes is... is of quality to bring in. And he brings them in and it's up to them to perform and make and that, a name for themselves. That door swings uh, two ways, Joey. It opens and it can close. Oh, I, I have doors hit me on the rear end uh, <laughs> a couple of times. So. I know that. <laughs> and, but he, he, there, there, he showed me he knows how to wrestle. He's got an arm bar on Junior Flo. Well, he knows what an arm bar is. Very, very look at that, look at that, that face. Menacing uh, facial expressions there. And Junior Flo doesn't want to stay in this too long. Hyperextend that elbow. Nice, nice reversal. Yep. Under the legs. Junior Flo is quick, isn't he? Oh, he's very fast. One of the uh, great competitors here for quite a quite a quite some time. And right now he's in a singles match. Oh, look at this. He's oh look, look, look at the slid look out like a guy's snake. Face. And again, Joey, we want to take away from this great matchup in, in this. It was a phenomenal uh, week of East BW Adrenaline TV. But next week, Joey, the big tag match. Kenny Bengal, Sonny Kiss against Dan the Man and Bad News Dillinger. There's nothing but bad blood and hatred between all four competitors. But especially Kenny Bengal looking to get his hands on Dan the Man. And that's going to happen next week. So wrestling fans, come back and join us again. And again, Junior Flo does some amazing things in that ring. Uh, high flyer, risk taker. Um, again, you said it very, very quick, but right there, there's a risk that can backfire. Well, Junior Flo in a singles match tonight, but we've seen him tag team many times with his dad, Frankie Flo. And the only father son tag team here in ECPW. And Look at the strength here on, on Chango, just picked him right off that top turnbuckle. Nice Samoan drop. Oh, look at that facial expression. Ooh, he's very scary. And, and you know what? That's psychological too. When you're when you're wrestling somebody like that, and you, you see that, that gets into your mind, and it plays uh, it plays with you. Uh, you know, it does head games. You know. But I don't think he's going to do that to Junior Flo. Well, that face paint works just as well as a mask does on some professional wrestlers. It hides his expressions and, and what he's feeling. You don't know if you're really hurting this guy or not. Can he feel pain? Does he feel pain? Right now, Junior Flo is trying to see that. He's laying in some good shots there. Nice reversal, up and over out of the corner. Up that clothesline. Wow, you just stopped Junior Flo, grabbed him. Ooh. Ah, Junior Flo with a stunner though. It's a, it's, it's a game of, of chess. You gotta think three or four moves ahead of your opponent. Well, I was never good at chess, you know, but I did play a good game of chess. I heard that somewhere. And yeah, bingo to Chimpy. <laughs> 
Nice, nice suplex there by Junior Flow. Fans, obviously, he's one of the fan favorites here, Junior Flow. Well, well loved uh, for his battles throughout the years. And look at that standing moonsault, but Jongo moved out of the way. Well, one of the best matches I saw several years ago was Junior Flow against Bandito Junior. And uh, wrestling fans, great light heavyweight matchup. Oh, one of the best. And, you know, we're talking about bringing back the ECBW vault. Uh, so you wrestling fans over the next coming months will be seeing some of the great wrestlers of the past. And I know, Joey, when you were up at the training center a few weeks back, we were looking at some of the uh, old uh, Adrenaline TV tapes and some of the great wrestlers we passed that unfortunately are no longer with us. Yeah. Uh, Superfly Jimmy Snuka. God bless you, uh, may you rest in peace. You know, we, we got to see him on many occasions wrestle. Uh, guy, and, and you know, tremendous athlete that he was. You know, one big, of the, big boss man was here at one time. One of the wrestling. greatest managers of all time, Lou Albano, guided some of PCBW wrestlers in the past. And and you know, the list of, of competitors that were here is a who's who of professional wrestling. Uh, the Steiner brothers, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, you name it, Joe G, the Tito Santana's, the Tony Atlases, they've all been here. And don't forget Ryan Roxbury. And Ryan, and the great Ryan Roxbury. How could you forget him? Nice move there by Junior Flo. Whoa, not quite all of that. He didn't get all of that neck breaker, but he's going through the top rope anyway. Is he going to try to get him with a frog splash here and end this, Joey? He's there got it. it. Will that be enough? Be he got it all, I think. He did. What a great win. But would have to say uh, an interesting debut of Chango LaCroix. Fans, this is Joey G and Gino Caruso saying so long from the Garden State. <laughs>